Okay, uh, I prefer to stay in modern hotel when I travel. Now I ask Maho. Maho, do you prefer to stay in modern or antique hotels when you travel? I prefer to stay in modern hotels. Do you usually make your hotel reservations or someone else does it for you? I make a reservation for me. Okay. Ahora yo le pregunto a usted y usted le pregunta a la otra chica. Ah. Do, you, do you prefer to stay in modern or antique hotel uh, when you... <laughs> Why? Because it's more, it's more support. Because it's, it's, it's more uh, support with my family. Okay. Um, do you usually make hotel reservation or some some Someone, someone else. Someone, uh -huh, else, else does it for you? I usually make reservation for me. Okay. Okay. Javier. Okay. Javier. Do you prefer to stay in modern or antique hotel when you travel? Uh, I prefer in mother hotel. Okay. Do you usually make your hotel reservation or someone else? Uh, someone else does is for me, my wife. <laughs> okay. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> she has the power. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you, you can say my wife has the power. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Okay, everyone, uh, well, thank you very much for uh, taking the time to practice the two questions, okay? Uh, the pronunciation of the last question in the last part is, or someone else does it for you, or someone else does it for you, okay? That's the pronunciation, or someone else does it, does it. We connect the two words, we link the two words, does it for you, okay? Good. So thank you very much for uh, practicing. So I will pass the attendance in this moment. Aida? Present. Claudia? Present. You ready to work, Claudia? You ready to work on the class? Lista para trabajar en la clase? Yes. Yes. All right, that's perfect. Daniel? Present. Doris? Ellen Nilsson? Kelsey? <laughs> Present, teacher. Herson? Irma? Present, teacher. Irving? Present. Are you going to work, Irving? Are you going to participate in the class? Hello, Irving. Hello. Hello. No hace mucho mi inglés. Ah, okay, okay. Javier. I am here, teacher. Very good. Mayra. Present, teacher. Milton. No. He's, he's working. He's Present. Working. 
Okay, okay, thank you, Rafa. I am here, teacher. I'm sorry for the for the the, the hours. All right, it's okay. no problem. The most important is that you're here. Santos? Thank you, teacher. Okay. Present teacher. Sara? Present teacher. Ulises? I don't know what happened to Ulises. He was connected. Walter? Present. Wendy? Jessica? Hazel? Mauricio? Present. Maho? Present teacher. And Carla? Present. Okay. Muy bien. All right, very good. Ok, a uh, los, no, eh, los que no tienen cámara encendida, yo sé que algunos están trabajando, pero algunos como que no han reportado, ok. Así que esperaría que participáramos en algunas actividades, ok, en some activities. Los que no están trabajando, ¿verdad? The ones who are not Coach. working. Yeah, yo sé que algunos me dijeron que están trabajando, ok. Some people say they are working. Sorry? I need to get out. I need to get out class early because I have to into subject it later. Oh, I see. I see. All right. Yeah. Okay. Good. Uh, so let's continue uh, then with the next uh, activity. Uh, so in the next activity, we have another conversation. Okay. So please take a moment and read it. And in two minutes, I will ask you some questions. Okay. So take two minutes and read the conversation. And after the two minutes, I will ask you some questions, okay? So please read it. Okay, uh, time is over. 
So listen, please. In case you have the answer for my questions, go to reactions and raise your hands again, all right? So I will ask you four questions. In case you have the answers for my questions, go to reactions and raise your hands, all right? So the first person to raise hands will participate, okay? El primero en levantar la mano participará. The first one to raise hands will participate in the activity, okay? So let's see question number one. Pregunta número uno, question number one. Question number one is, uh, what room does Gerardo need? What room does Gerardo need? All right, so let's listen to Sara. Sara, what room does Gerardo need? Uh, <clears throat> a single room. A single room, exactly. So he needs a single room. Thank you very much. Now, please, everybody, lower your hands. Bajan la mano todos. Lower your hands, please. Sara, Walter, and Mayra, lower your hands. Okay, let's see. Question number two. Question number two. Los que tienen la mano sí. levantada, la bajan, please. Okay, you Pero lower me, Ahí mismo está. Ahí dice lower hand, bajar la mano en la misma opción. En vez de subir la mano, dice bajar la mano. Okay. Me da otro lado. Permítame. Ok. It's ok. You do Permítame it afterwards. Me da, me da otro lado. Espéreme. Oh, I sí. see. Ok, there Gracias. you go. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Question number two. Um, when is Mr. Gomez going to arrive? When is Mr. Gomez going to arrive? All right, let's see. Um, Javier, when is Mr. Gomez going to arrive? Uh, on Friday 14. Excellent, on Friday 14. That's very good, thank you very much. Now please everybody lower your hands. Okay, next question. Um, let me see. This is very easy. What's the hotel's name? Okay, let's see, Aida, what's the hotel's name? The Golden Star Hotel. The Golden Star Hotel. Thank you very much. Now I have an inference question. Uh, an inference question, it's a question uh, in which you don't have the answer, okay? Una pregunta de inferencia es una pregunta en la cual no tienen la respuesta ahí, but you can infer the answer. Pero ustedes pueden inferirla. You can infer the answer, okay? Yeah? So the inference question is, do you think the hotel is antique or modern? Do you think the hotel is antique or modern? Rafael, what do you think, Rafael? Modern hotel. Ah, uh, you think it's a modern hotel? Okay, let's see. Um, yeah. Okay, very good. Okay, Rafael thinks it's a modern hotel. Who thinks it's an antique hotel? Nobody. Nobody thinks it's an antique hotel? No, nobody, right? Yes, probably is uh is modern, right? It's modern. Okay, very good. Okay, thank you very much. Now please listen to the pronunciation of the conversation carefully, okay? Listen carefully, please. And pay attention. Hello, thank you for calling the Golden Star Hotel. This is Jen. How can I help you? Hello, I need to make a reservation. Sure. May I have your name, please? Of course. I'm Gerardo Gomez. Thank you, Mr. Gomez. When are you going to arrive? I'm going to arrive on Friday 14. How long are you going to stay with us, Mr. Gomez? I'm going to stay until Monday. Are you going to make the reservation for a single or a double room? A single room, please. Listen again. Hello, thank you for calling the Golden Star Hotel. This is Jen, how can I help you? Hello, I need to make a reservation. Sure, may I have your name, please? Of course, I'm Gerardo Gomez. Thank you, Mr. Gomez. When are you going to arrive? I'm going to arrive on Friday 14. How long are you going to stay with us, Mr. Gomez? I'm going to stay until Monday. Are you going to make the reservation for a single or a double room? 
a single room, please. The conversation is on page number 41. So first, let's listen to Javier and Mayra. Jen, Mayra, Javier, Gerardo. Okay. Hello, thank you for calling the Golden Star Hotel. This is Jen, how can I help you? Hello, I need to make a reservation. Sure, may I? May I have your name, please? Of course, I am Javier Cortez. Thank you, Mr. Cortez. When you are you going to arrive? I'm going to arrive on Friday 14. How long you're going to stay with us, Mr. And Cortez? I'm going to stay on Monday. Are you going to make the reservation for a single or a double room? A single room, please. Excellent, thank you very much. Now let's listen to Aida and Daniel. Aida is Jen and Daniel is Gerardo. Hello, thank you for calling the Golden Star Hotel. This is Jen, how can I help you? Hello. I need to make a reservation. Sure. May I have your name, please? Of course. I, Daniel Sarabia. Thank you, Mr. Sarabia. When are you going to arrive? I'm going to arrive on Friday 14. How long are you going to stay with us, Mr. Sarabia? I'm going to stay home till Monday. Monday. Are you going to make the reservations for a single or a double room? A single room, please. Okay, thank you very much. That's everything. Now let's listen to Ellen Nielsen and Elsie. Ellen Nielsen, Gerardo, Elsie, Jen. Okay. Hello. Thank you for you calling the Golden Star Hotel. This is Jane. How can I help you? Hello, I need to make a reservation. Sure. May I have your name, please? Of course. I'm Ellen Nilsson Aparicio. Thank you, Mr. Aparicio. When are you going to arrive? I'm going to arrive on Friday, Friday 14. How long are you going to stay with us, Mr. Aparicio? I'm going to stay until Monday. Are you going to make the reservation for a single or a double room? A single room, please. Excellent. Thank you very much. Uh, now let's listen to uh, Mauricio and, let me see, and Irma. Okay, Mauricio and Irma. Irma, you are Jen, and Mauricio, you are Gerardo. Okay. Hello. Thank you for calling the Golden Star Hotel. This is Jen. How can I, how can I help you? Hello. I need to make a reservation. Sure. May I have your name, please? Of course. I am Mauricio Hernandez. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Hernandez. Uh, when are you going to arrive? I'm going to arrive on Friday 14. How long are you going to stay with us, Miss, Miss, I se me olvidó el apellido, Hernandez. Hernandez. <laughs> Mr. Hernandez. I'm going to stay until Monday. Are you going to make the reservation for a single or a double room? A single room, please. Okay. Okay, that's excellent. Thank you very much. Okay, listen, please, listen carefully. This conversation is on page number 41, okay? This conversation is on page number 41. So listen, on page number 41, you have a little, um, Form. Okay, you have a little form. 
this form, okay? This wrong, the, this form, sorry, is for the hotel in the conversation. So please, page 41, página 41. Read the conversation and complete the form. Read the conversation and complete the form with the information, please. The name of the agent, the guest, the check-in time, the check-out time or day, single room or double room, okay? So please complete the information on the form according to the conversation. De acuerdo a la conversación, okay? Page number 41, página número 41, page number 41, okay? So complete the form, please. Si no tienen el manual, ahí está en el grupo, okay? It's on the group. The manual is on the group, okay? On the WhatsApp group. Go to files and there you can find it for docs. Are you ready or you are still working? Well, I can see you working. Okay, take take one more, take two more minutes. Sorry, Javier. No, 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 ready teacher. Are you ready? Okay, so I guess not everybody's ready. So take two more minutes. Okay, take two more minutes. You just need to complete the form, okay? the agent's name, the guest name, the check-in day or time, I don't know, the check-out day or time, and the single room or double room, okay?
Okay, uh, let's see what you have. Uh, let's see what you have quickly. Okay, everyone. Uh, so I guess everybody completed uh, the form. So number one, uh, what is the agent's name? What is the agent's name? Jen. Jen, right, Jen, right? Jen, Every, does everybody agree? Yes, right, I think it's Jen. Number two, what is the guest's name? Gerardo. Gerardo. Gerardo Gomez. Gerardo Gomez, exactly. Thank you very much. Number three, Check in when? Friday. Friday, Friday what? Friday. Friday. On Friday. Friday 14th. Yeah. On Friday 14th. Excellent. Friday 14th. Uh, checkout date. When is the checkout date? Monday. 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 It's Monday. Monday. Exactly. She's going to say until Monday. Excellent. Single room or double room? Single room. Single room. Okay, thank you very much. That's excellent. Thank you. Okay, now listen. Frequently, when we make reservations, cuando hacemos reservaciones, when we make reservations in English, right? In English, um, we can use would like. For example, I would like to make a reservation, all right? And when you say I would like to make a reservation, all right? This is polite. Okay, this is formal or polite, okay? I would like to make a reservation for two people, for example, okay? So this is formal. You can also say, también podemos decir, I need to make a reservation, but this is less polite. Esto es menos educado, o es de, menos de, de menor cortesía, okay? Good. And you can say, I want to make a reservation too, okay? I want to make a reservation. But I want to make a reservation is less polite or it's somehow informal, okay? De alguna manera informal, it's somehow informal. So if it's about business, my recommendation is would like. I would like to make a reservation, okay? Me gustaría hacer una reservación. I would like to make a reservation. You can use the others, but they are somehow informal. Pero ellos de alguna manera son informales. They are somehow informal so it's your decision maybe if it's a family trip if it's a family uh yeah if you are traveling with your family you can say i need to make a reservation or i want to make a reservation but if it's um, um a business uh reservation you can say i would like i would like to make a reservation okay so this is very important when we make reservations okay it's es muy importante cuando hacemos reservaciones when we make reservations okay Good. Now, let me stop here. Now, I have a question for everybody. I have a question for everybody, okay? Have you ever heard of the topic be going to? ¿Alguna vez han escuchado acerca del tema be going to? Be going to. Who has? Who has listened about that? ¿Quién ha escuchado el tema? Who has listened to this grammar topic? Be going to. Somebody? Perdón, ¿es el de ir o yendo? Somehow. Okay. O voy a, voy a. Ah, exactly, that's the meaning, okay? For example, if I say, I am going to travel to Costa Rica, the meaning is, voy a viajar a Costa Rica. So, this structure is for future plans. This is for future plans, all right? Or for scheduled events, if you want to say it, okay? O es también para eventos que ya tengo planeados o agendados, for scheduled events, okay? I will give you a short explanation about this, okay? But before I explain to you this topic, so I just want to remind you or I want to refresh something you studied before. Okay, quiero refrescar algo que ya estudiaron anteriormente, okay? So listen, yo sé porque algunos se les olvida, por eso lo voy a hacer, that's why I'm going to do it, okay? So listen. Y se ha hecho que viene yeah. un ejercicio el 17 de go y go y tú, digo. Yeah, y it's true. No lo pasé. <laughs> <laughs> Ahorita lo vamos a ver. We are going to study that in this moment, okay? Good, so listen. We have the different pronouns, right? I... 
I say I am, no digo I be going to, I say I am going to, right? I have you. I say you are and then going to, all right? Then I have he. He is going to. Then I have she. She is going to and I have it. Para hablar de una cosa en singular, okay? It is and then I have going to, okay? Going to. Y luego va un verbo, and then we have a, a verb, okay? Here, for example, you can say, I'm going to, to work, okay? I'm going to work. So, let me repeat. I am, you are, he is, she is, it is, all right? No se les olvide que el he puede ser reemplazado por el nombre de un chico. Podría ser Rafael is going to work or she. So the meaning is ella. So I say Irma is going to work. Puedo decir, puedo reemplazar el pronombre por un nombre de una persona. Okay. In this case, for he and she. Okay. For I is impossible, right? I am going to work. For you is impossible. You are going to work. For it, yes, right? Para it sí lo puedo reemplazar. Por una cosa en singular, okay? My, my cell phone, for example, my cell phone is going to, to be sold, for example. My cell phone is going to be sold. Mi teléfono va a ser vendido. My cell phone is going to be sold, okay? So I say my cell phone is, okay? So this is very important. Esto es muy importante. This is very, very important, okay? We have other pronouns. Tenemos otros pronombres como what? We, que son plurales, you again, and they, okay? So for this, I say are, okay? We are going to have class tomorrow. You are going to complete the exercises for Friday. You are going to complete the exercises for Friday. They are going to work tomorrow, okay? So this is the structure in general terms. Esa es la estructura en términos generales. So I say, I am, you are, he is, she is, it is. We are, you are, they are, going to, okay? So that's in positive, okay? But now let's look at this in detail. Veamos esto más en detalle. Let's look at this in detail. So here we have the explanation like in a more formal way. Okay, so listen. First, pongamos, a, sugiero que presten mucha atención. Yo sé que están prestando atención, pero no está de más decirlo, ¿verdad? So first, I have affirmative sentences or positive sentences, okay? Para oraciones positivas, I say, I'm, I am is I'm, it's the same, okay? I am I'm, okay? I'm going to, then the verb arrive on Friday 14th, okay? I'm going to stay by el verbo en su forma original until Monday. Miss Puentes is going to, look at this, en vez de decir she, digo Miss Puentes, and then is going to, y luego el verbo en su forma original. Miss Puentes is going to travel to Costa Rica, okay? Miss Puentes va a viajar a Costa Rica. I'm going to stay until Monday. Me voy a quedar este lunes. I'm going to arrive on Friday. Voy a llegar el viernes, all right? These are positive sentences. Estas son oraciones positivas, positive sentences, okay? Then I have negative sentences. Tengo oraciones negativas. This is very easy. I only need to put not after the verb to be. Solo voy a poner not después del verbo to be. Eso es todo. Después de am, is, or are, I put not. For example, Miss Puentes is not going to fly to Cuba on the 14th. Miss Puentes no va a, viajar, a volar a Cuba el 14, okay? Miss Puentes is not going to fly. Mr. Gomez is not going to arrive on Thursday 13th. So Mr. Gomez no va a llegar el jueves 13, okay? On Thursday 13th. So in conclusion, in negative, you only put not, solo ponemos el not, after the verb to be, después del verbo to be. I am not, she is not, or they're not, or they are not, okay? 
Good. So this is for negative. This is negative, okay? Negative. Positive. Now let's go to questions. How do you make questions? ¿Cómo hacemos las preguntas? How do you make questions? Just no questions, right? Primero, preguntas cerradas. Just no questions. Easy. Easy. Muy sencillo. Solo pasamos el verbo to be al inicio. Look. No digo you are going. Digo are you going. So I put the verb to be at the beginning. Lo pongo al principio. And I have a closed question. Tengo una pregunta cerrada. Are you going to stay in a smoking or non-smoking room? Okay, te vas a quedar. Okay, and then the translation that I don't know exactly, okay? Um, number two. Are you going to make the reservation for a single or a double room? Paso el verbo to be al principio, okay? Si fuera ella diría, is she? Is she going to make the reservation? O si fuera I... Am I, am I going to make the reservation? Okay, yeah. Now we have information questions. Preguntas abiertas, information questions. Using how long or when. Es la misma estructura de la pregunta cerrada, solo que le pongo how long or when, eso es todo. Miren, how long are you going to stay? Siempre el verbo tu iba antes del sujeto. How long are you going to stay? ¿Cuánto tiempo te vas a quedar? Or when, when are you going to arrive? ¿Cuándo vas a llegar? El verbo to be siempre va antes del sujeto. Y aquí arriba de igual manera, el verbo to be va antes del sujeto, ¿ok? And we have closed questions and open questions. Preguntas cerradas y preguntas abiertas, ¿ok? Maybe something else to add. Una cosita más que agregar tal vez. Maybe something else to add, ¿ok? Um, let me show you here. Okay, listen, um, we have short forms. Tenemos formas cortas. For I am, I can say, I'm, okay? For you are, I can say, you're. Son forma, estas son formas cortas, okay? These are short forms. For he is, sorry. For he is, you can say, he's which is the short form, es la forma corta. For she is, you can say, cheese, all right? And for it is, you can say, it's, all right? It's, so these are short forms. In negative, you can say, I'm not, you're not, he's not, she's not, is not. For example, you're not going to stay here today. You're not going to come to class tomorrow. He's not, okay, he's not going to do the exam, all right? She is not going to work. He's not going to work, talking about something, okay? Yeah. Estas son las formas cortas del negativo, de, o más bien las formas contractadas, okay? The I am, la forma corta. The you are, the short form. He is, he is. She is, she is. It is, it's. Okay? Si quieren, hagan una captura a esto, if you want. Porque esto no está en el material, creo. This is not on the manual, all right? Uh, so, guys, do you have any questions? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta? Do you have any question? Eh, no la había tomado todavía, teacher. La podría poner. I'm sorry, nada. I'm sorry. Let me, let, me, let me put it again. There you go. Thank you. All right, no problem. So, do you have any question? Do you have any question? Tal vez una cosita que mencionar, que mencionar nada más. Aquí estamos hablando en futuro y esta estructura se usa para planes, cuando ya tengo un plan establecido, ¿ok? When I have a plan. Si no tengo un plan, uso otra estructura, que sería el will, pero eso no lo hemos visto aún, ¿ok? Pero esto es para planes que ya tengo, si lo voy a usar. Por ejemplo, si yo digo, voy a ir a a San Salvador mañana, ya tengo un plan. I'm going to go to San Salvador 
tomorrow. Ok, uso la estructura porque ya tengo un plan mayormente en positivo. Ok. Or negative is that I don't have a plan. I'm not going to, to visit my mother tomorrow, for example. Ok. So, any question? ¿Alguna pregunta? Any question? Eh, bueno, en, yes. en la tarde, teacher, con, con, con don L hablábamos eso, del, del, del el uso del going to, y, y me explicaba él que el, la, la cuestión es que nosotros eh, no hablamos en pasado, me decía él, y no hablamos en presente, y más que todo el inglés sería de, de algo de lo que se hace en el presente, ¿verdad? No, no hablar como en el pasado, entonces me dice... Es más complicado hablar español que inglés, me dice, que nosotros todos lo hablamos en el pasado y no en el presente. Ya, yeah, es true, definitivamente, es totally true. And sometimes that's the confusion, y algunas veces es de la confusión porque queremos traducirlo literalmente al inglés. That's the problem sometimes. Yes. Sí, ese sí. Sí, porque a veces, a veces yo así hago, entonces ahí es donde está la confusión y es lo que me decía él ahora, ¿no? No es así, me decía. Yes, it's true, es cierto, it's true. Um, thank you, Javier. Uh, thank you for your comment. Uh, Walter, do you have any question? No. I, yeah. Irma has one yeah. question, I think. Yeah. Irma? The exercise uh, del 17 dice que tenemos que hacer las oraciones usando of be going, going to. Yeah. Uh, um, answer, answer one is he his friends, in parentheses, to phone. ¿Cómo tendríamos que ponerlo allí? Go, is, going, be going. It's a question, right? It's a question. Yes. Is he going, is he is going he, to phone his friend? Is he going to phone his friend? That would be the answer for that. Is going. he. Ajá, porque en la pregunta dijimos que primero el ver, va, va el verbo to be y luego el sujeto. Is he, y luego el going to, going to, going luego el verbo, yeah. phone, que sería phone, phone, his friend. Ajá, is he going oh, to phone yeah. his friend? Ok, yo le puse be going to phone, no, le no. Puse, pero me salió no, no, listen, es que el detalle es que el tema es be going to, pero el be ah. no se escribe be, se escribe am, is, or are, depende del pronombre que estamos usando, ok? Am, is, or ah, are, okay. que es lo que les explicaba. Uh -huh. I don't say I be going to or she be going to. No, I say I am going to. She is going to. They are going to. Okay? Yeah? Ah, uh, okay. Yes. Como me perdí tres días de clase, creí que ya habían pasado. El... No, no, no. Eso pertenece a esta, uni a, a esta unidad. Okay? It belongs to this unit. Okay, okay so okay. do we have any other question? No? No more questions? Okay, if we have no more questions, um, you will work in small groups on the next activity, okay? Page number 42, page number 42, activity five, okay? You will organize the words to create sentences or questions, okay? Van a ordenar las palabras que están acá en la página 42 para crear oraciones o preguntas about be going to, right? Yeah, so you will work in groups, okay? Page number 42. Ahí hacen la captura si quieren y la envíen al grupo. Bueno, algunos tienen el manual, lo hacen del teléfono, right? You do it from your, from your cell phone, right? So page number 42. Organize the words and create sentences or questions, okay? So we will work in groups. Vamos a trabajar en equipos. You will work in groups, okay? La idea de trabajar en equipos es que se ayuden todos mutuamente, ¿verdad? Si alguien no ha entendido, que los demás le ayuden a aclararle cualquier duda, ¿ok? That's the idea of teamwork. Ok, let's go and work in groups. Thank you for the photo and the group. Thank you, Walter. <laughs>
Vaya, the second one, creo yo que es. Are Bella. you going to make the are you going to make a reservation for conference room? Creo que sí sería. Ajá, sí, porque la, la primera es la misma que está arriba, solo que arriba sí. ya está. Ajá. Está contestada. Sí. Are, you, are, you are you going? Are you going to mm. make? A reservation. A reservation. A reservation. For the for the conference room. Are you going? Sería. Mm -hmm. Are you going to make? A reservation for the conference room. Yo creo que esa sería una pregunta. ¿ver? Como ahí dice que pueden ser oraciones o preguntas. Uh -huh. For the conference room. Ajá. Uh -huh. ¿Le entendió, Beatriz? Sí. Sí. Are you going to make a reservation for the conference room? Ajá. Uh -huh. Ahora sería la tres. Conference. ¿La terminó, Santos? Sí, sí. Ah, va. Va, o la tres. Mm -hmm. I'm going to... Oh. I, I am. Going, Sorry. No, 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 no. Wait, wait a minute. Ve que me está cargando todavía la neurona, pero. Okay. I'm going to. Wait. I'm going to. Request. No. I am going to. I'm going to make. Wake up call. No, I'm going to, I'm going to request. request for wake up call. I'm going to make. 5 a.m. No, pero. Teacher, así es. Para de I am going to Para llamar a request. Uh -huh. request for a uh, wake up call for 5 a.m. Yeah. It's okay. I'm, I'm going to request a wake up call for 5 a.m. Yeah, that's okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's okay. I, I, to request. I, I am going to request. I'm going to request. Request for, for wake up call. Okay. For wake up. Uh, uh, fire uh, uh -huh. uh, fire I'm going to request. Yeah. I'm going to request for make 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 call at fire jam. Mm -hmm. ¿Cómo se pronuncia ahí junto? Make call, como dijo a ti. La terminó, Santos. Permítame. I am going to request for make. No. For wake up. For wake up. Es la, es la segunda, después de for. For uh -huh. wake up call. Wake up call. Uh -huh. For wake up call. Uh -huh. For make. For wake up. 
Call. Call. Make call. La cuatro, yo sé. Voy. Ah. Ah. Five a 5 a.m. me dice ahí. A. Five a.m. Ajá. Así. I wake up. Call. A five o'clock. A five a.m. I'm going to request wake up call. A five a.m. I want to request for I find I am. Así es. Okay. The next is Mr. Turcios. A Mrs. Mrs. Turcios. Mr. Mrs. Turcios is going to. going to check out tomorrow. Mrs. Turcio is going to check check out tomorrow. Uh -huh. Así es. Okay. And the next is uh, mm, the De la zona tres, sí. Mantenemos him. No. Y check out. No. Going tomorrow, ¿verdad? Yes. Yo para escribir soy muy lento. Sí. No problem. Por eso la mayoría no le gusta estar conmigo porque yo mucho los atrás. <risa> y la última. La última. No, la, sorry. La, la última es. Mis no, día. Que hay muchos. Más en el team. Ajá, lo de Piazza. Mis día. Maintenance team. Maintenance team. No, Mr. Díaz. Pienso yo que, que, que así sería. Mr. Turcio. Is... Mm. Teacher, no sé una pregunta ya que está aquí. <ríe> este, en la tercera, está, digo en la cuarta. La, la cuarta. Estamos... Yeah. Si sería mis turcios is o es is mis turcios. Is it a question or a sentence? Tienen eh, question marks. Sentence. It's a sentence and you say is. Mis turcios is. Sí? Yes, because if you want to make a question, you mm -hmm. say is mis turcios, right? Mm -hmm. But in this case, it's not a question, it's a sentence. So you say mis turcios is going to and you continue, okay? Okay. okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay, no problem. Entonces sería mis mis turcia is going to check out check out. Is tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Solo sería checa. 
tomorrow, porque ahí es, ya lo ocupamos. Ahí lo en mis... sí. uh -huh. Bye. Hoy la número 5. El, el número 5, vean. Sí. Conference. Man. De, in, in, con, conference. Pero esta no es pregunta. No, es una oración. Si quiere, hagamos las seis y, y dejamos esa que la siento un poquito complicada. Y ahí sería mis días, ¿verdad? Sí. Is, is días is going to is going to I need no uh, is going to I need uh, no smoking room mm. Mis días. No, need, 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 uh, need, need, smoking room. Mm Las cinco nos queda pendiente. ¿Cómo entiende usted allí, Majo? Um, my Las cinco. Las cinco, sí, porque no hay ninguno. Ningún uh -huh. nombre de persona, ni, ni hay que diga he, she, o algo por el estilo. Pero dice el grupo, el, el equipo de mantenimiento. Mantenimiento. Entonces, entonces sería, uh -huh. no entonces sería, sería que day. Mount day. Day. Ajá. Day. Mm. Ah, pero como, pero no, pero como no, no está, ¿verdad? Ah, no está. Is, pero ah, después day. sería ah. el equipo de mantenimiento is going Okay, uh, okay, people, it's time. It's 10 already. So let me pass the attendance the last time and then we, we check the sentences, okay? Aida? Present. Claudia? Present. Daniel? Present. Doris? Present. Bien. Elenison? Present. Nancy? Present. Irma? Present teacher. Irving. Present. Very good. Javier. Present teacher. Mayra. Present teacher. Milton. Rafael. I am here teacher. Santos. Present teacher. Sara. Present teacher. Ulises. Walter? Present. Wendy is not here right today. Jessica? 
capital. Mauricio. Present. Majo. En Carla. Pre present, teacher. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, now I will show you the sentences and you compare your sentences with my sentences, okay? So compare your sentences with my sentences. I will show them to you for one minute, okay? So please compare, please compare. So compare please. So number two is, are you going to make a reservation for the conference room is number two, okay? It's a question. Are you going to make a reservation for the conference room? Number three, I'm going to request a wake up call for 5 a.m. Okay, that's the sentence. So please compare, comparemos, compare please with yours. Number four, Miss Turcios is going to check out tomorrow. Miss Turcios is going to check out tomorrow. Number five, the maintenance team. Cuando dice aquí the maintenance team, el equipo de mantenimiento puede reemplazar al pronombre it, okay? The maintenance team is going to attend a conference on October 10th. And number six, the last one is a question, right? Is Miss Diaz going to need a non-smoking room? Is Miss Diaz going to need a non-smoking room? All right. So did they stay the same? ¿Les quedaron lo mismo? Do they look the same? Yes. Very similar or very different? Yes. yes, they are the same. All right, very good. Okay, everybody. Well, uh, just before we go, antes de que nos vayamos, um, solo recordar, ¿verdad? Ir haciendo el trabajo de la semana, okay, cada día para que no se acumule. Y la encuesta de satisfacción la vamos a hacer hasta el día viernes, aunque ya hayan recibido un WhatsApp o un correo electrónico, ¿ok? No la vayan a hacer antes, por favor. Es hasta el día viernes, ¿ok? ¿De acuerdo? Yes, no, okay. yes, okay. yes, okay, excellent. Okay. ok, everybody, well, thank you very much for getting connected today. Goodbye. See you tomorrow. Take Bye, care. Bye. Bye. Good night. 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 Uh, okay, Walter. Walter, so this space is for you. If you have any questions, doubts, or anything, it's the moment for you. Okay. Uh, no, I have. I don't have any question for the class or for the metal. No, I. I good. I I like the the form the class. I. I, I am learning every day for new vocabulary and learning, etc. Excellent. That's very good. That, that's the most important, right? To be comfortable and to be learning. That's important, okay? Yeah. Okay. Solo tengo, Thank you. no sé, eh, tengo dos cosas. Una okay. es este... Bueno, el ejercicio 17, que es de la tarea de going to, este, estaba dándome error en dos, en dos preguntas. Entonces, y me salía, entraba, volví a hacerlo. Entonces, al final, eh, los dos errores, o sea, en dos preguntas, me corrigió uno, pero yo no, yo no hice nada, solo seguí poniendo, quitando, volví a poner lo mismo. 
Entonces, pero hay una, la número cuatro de la tarea 17, eh, que siempre sigue dando error y yo pienso que está correcto. Por ejemplo, es, es, you are going to have a picnic next Tuesday. Entonces, no sé si debo ponerle un future ahí para que lo dé correcto. <ríe> Le, no. okay. es, bien, es bien complicado con esos ejercicios de complementar a veces, casi siempre salen cositas así. Eh, no sé si le puso el punto al final de la oración. Pero bueno, pensaba, porque nosotros no le he puesto nada. Y Ajá, ahora, bueno, ya, eh, ya se lo puse y no, ahorita se lo estoy poniendo y no, tampoco. ¿La forma contractada? ¿La forma corta? Tal vez así. Ah. Pero es que como es are, are going to have. No ah, es puedo... a question, no es una pregunta. No, no es su pregunta. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo queda la oración? Read it, please. Este, debería ser you are going to have. Vaya. Porque el de que está en paréntesis es to have. Entonces... Sí, sí. Vaya, ponga la forma corta de you are, la que le di, que es you are. You, luego apóstrofe, re. A ver si funciona. We have to see different ways to do it. No, tampoco. Le voy a mandar una. La corta y la pega. Tal vez le funciona. A veces la, en un ejercicio la vez pasada solo por, 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 por la apóstrofe que algunos le escribían de forma diferente ya había error. Vale, le voy a mandar una opción ahorita. Ok, let me send you one option. Ahí al chat la mandé. You are. Solo la cambia a mayúscula. Vamos a ver. Cópiela y péguela y le, y le cambia la Y por una Y mayúscula y le deja lo demás. You're going to have a picnic. Así como queda, ¿ok? Uh -huh. Copie, pegue y solo le cambia la Y por una mayúscula. Oh. My goodness. Ok, vamos a revisarlo ahorita entonces rápidamente. Ok, let me go. Let me open the platform. Voy a abrir la plataforma ahorita. Just hold on a second, please. I'm opening the platform. Uh, what, what exercise is it? ¿Qué ejercicio es? La tarea 17, la número 4. Sección 4, tarea número 17. Ok, let me go. I'm opening. Oh, ya, ya la 16 vi ahorita. 17, ¿verdad? Sí. La okay, número 4. Number 4. Let me go here. Y okay, let me show you. Let me share screen so we, we are on the same page. Mm -hmm. La número, number? Esa, no, number four. Vaya, ya intentó solo escribir la respuesta nada más. Sí, are, are, are going to have. Así le puse yo. Y de hecho, la número dos me estaba dando el mismo error. Y, y, y entonces de tanto entrar, salir y todo, y le puse, we are not. Y le ponía así, y ahí le quité el not y todo eso, a ver si era negativo y, y probando, mayúscula, minúscula, y, y al final me la. Al final lo puse lo mismo y me dio. Póngale esta opción que está acá. We have to see different ways, I'm sorry. Ajá, así le, así le puse también, vamos a ver. También. Así solo la, la, la apostrofe, RE, y luego ah, going bien. to have. Sí, voy a intentar otra vez, pero es que. No sé <risa> Ya intentó toda la forma. Sí, no. Nada, are going to have cabal así. Nada. No, no okay. igualito. Ok, do me a favor. Ah, porque es, sí, alguien ya me lo había reportado y yo lo reporté, pero no me han contestado. Voy a hacer el recordatorio otra vez. Porque igual, yo lo había reportado porque hubo alguien que tenía el mismo problema. Eh, hágame un favor, esa, Walter. Esa pregunta. Hola. Y en, en, una, en una pregunta similar o esta. Sorry. Una pregunta similar a esta o esta. En sí, era este ejercicio de going to. 
era quién que me estaba, no, alguien no. me estaba escribiendo, no me acuerdo quién era, pero sí, me mandaron, era un, ejer, era un ejercicio, el let me see, let me see. Sí, aquí está, Mayra me lo está mandando ahorita, es el mismo. La misma pregunta. Sí, la misma, lo voy a reportar mejor, porque sí, ahorita Mayra me lo está mandando, que está teniendo Ahora, problemas también. Lo voy a que del 2 daba el mismo problema, pero de tanto insistir, poner, quitar, y al final me lo agarró lo mismo como lo había puesto al principio. No sé qué pasó. Oh, my goodness. Voy a tener que reportarlo porque ahorita Mayra me lo mandó y de hecho está correcto lo que ella está poniendo. Ajá, igual yo... ¿A dónde se lo mandó a ella? Aquí al WhatsApp me lo mandó. Uh -huh. Ajá, sí, ella mandó... A... No, pero me lo mandó a mí personalmente, que me, me manda la captura de que ella lo está haciendo bien y, no, y le marca incorrecto. Ajá, igual, ah, pues el mismo. Ajá. Ya le voy a, ya, ya, ese, lo voy a reportar mañana otra vez porque ya lo había reportado ese ejercicio okay. y no me ayudaron. Lo voy a reportar nuevamente. Ok. Y yo, este... le, yo les aviso en el grupo a ver si solucionan. Lo más seguro que sí, nos van a solucionar, primero Dios. Ok, yo tengo, fíjese que estoy, la verdad estoy indeciso si seguir o no seguir. Me gusta, <risa> pero, o sea, me gusta, me gusta. Lo que pasa es que a veces salgo muy tarde del trabajo y... Y después de clases tengo que hacer muchas cosas. Entonces, a veces un poco cansado, pero solo es eso. Entonces, pero me gusta mucho. Entonces, estoy en es, estoy en eso, la verdad. Es oh, my goodness. Entiendo, entiendo perfectamente. Sí, primero Dios que se pueda, ¿verdad? Pero cada quien sabe cómo lleva su, 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 sus procesos. Y el trabajo ¿Y los también. Sábados, yo los entiendo. Los hay, ¿Hay clases o sabatinos? Mm, o, o solo entiendo que con inglés corporativo tienen otro proyecto, pero solo es de una hora nada más. Es de 7 a 8, pero no es inglés para el trabajo, es diferente. Es de 7 a 8, pero ¿qué día? Eh, de lunes a jueves, creo. Son cuatro horas semanales, pero es, otro, es un proyecto diferente, no es inglés para el trabajo. Es inglés libre. Sí, no, como le dije, me gusta y todo, pero sí, lo que pasa es que, uh, bueno, aquí entre nosotros yo vivo solo, entonces después de esto tengo que a veces uh, cocinar. Sí, entiendo. Planchar, etcétera, entonces. Y... Sí, se junta todo, entiendo perfectamente, entiendo, ah, y, lo, pues, y lo comprendo, y yo sé que hacen un, un gran esfuerzo, la mayoría, yo sé que hacen un gran esfuerzo por estar en la clase, y como les decía la vez pasada, cada esfuerzo tiene su, su recompensa, sí. por supuesto, ¿verdad? Pero a veces los esfuerzos sí son bastante, bastante grandes, y es, y es comprensible en este caso, así que evalúelo, Walter, evalúelo bien, usted sabe mejor cómo lleva sus, sus cosas, y si se pudiera, pues, gracias a Dios. Pero ahí usted sabe mejor cómo lleva todo. ¿sí? Pero gracias, teacher, por toda su ayuda. It's my pleasure. Es un placer. It's my pleasure. Ok. Ok. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for staying on the one-on-one -on -one session. Ok. Thanks. Ok. Voy a preguntar, I will ask, ok, acerca del ejercicio. Porque ahorita Mayra okay. me está escribiendo, ok. Está bien, gracias. Ok, Thanks. thank you. Good night. Okay. Good night. Ok, bye-bye. Bye-bye.